Hey you guys. Honestly, I have no words. I haven't posted on here in a while because life has just been life in. Last week, we were getting ready for our annual Purpose of Hope conference. That weekend came and went so fast, but it was so amazing that none of us have the words to even describe it. The things the Lord did that weekend, the people who gave their life to the Lord, the people who rededicated, the 17 baptism, and so much more that you don't even know. I went right from conference to cleaning out my building. We've been raising money for a year now to fix that building that the Lord called me to buy. And it was gonna cost us $42,000. And today we only need 3,000. The building is already lifted four inches off the ground. And walking in to see that building and all the transformation is honestly unbelievable. We packed up everything in one day and brought it back to my home. And honestly, through it all, I have no idea how to feel. I literally just don't have any words. How about the first year that we had the Purpose Hope Conference? There was a little less than 100 people, and this year we outgrew the building. How about from now until December? I have one trip every single month to go pour into people and love people. How about five years ago, I sat in a Circle K parking lot thinking of all the things that I would love to do, writing a book, being a speaker, and today I do all those things for the Lord. How about I wasted almost a decade of my life that God has done more with my life in my surrender to Him in five years than I could have ever done on my own. What about how the very tragedy of my life is the very thing that led me exactly where I'm supposed to be? What about how the Lord led me to a building that most people wanted to tear down? Told me that I was gonna have to pay $42,000 to even get it fixed. I felt like that was impossible and I was never gonna do that. I had one thing right. I wasn't gonna do it. God was. To today, the building is already underway in renovations. Friend, when you surrender your life to God, I promise you that there will come a time in your walk where you will have no words great enough to say how thankful you are. You won't have enough words to praise Him. Honestly, it's that overwhelming, never-ending, reckless love of God. Honestly, you'll be left saying, I saw the Lord, and He heard, and He answered. Or maybe you'll be saying, with my life laid down, I'm surrendered now. I give you everything. Your goodness is running after me. I don't know where you're at with your walk with the Lord, but I want to promise you that He hasn't given up on you. His only desire is for you to come home to Him. And when you do that, He will do more with your surrender than you ever could do on your own. God's plans for your life is better and greater than any plan you thought you had.